Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the electronic comparator. So, let's get started. Now, here is the diagram of the electronic comparator. Basically, this comparator is used to indicate whether a given surface is exactly flat or not. So, here, what are the parts we have? There is a sensor which is in contact with the surface. Like for example, here, this is the surface. This is the surface to be tested which is in contact with the sensor. Sensor would be sensing the surface and with that we have a transducer. Transducer would be converting this variation into electrical energy and that would be fed to the oscillator which is one of the component. After that we have an amplifier here and then there is a demodulator and finally we have a dial on which the reading is indicated or we can say there is the movement of this pointer. So basically if the surface is rough then this pointer would be deflected. It can either move towards the positive or the negative side. It can move in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Now I will just take an example that if the surface is perfectly flat, if it is perfectly horizontal or a flat surface. So for a perfectly flat surface, the reading which is shown by the dial would be zero. So just by looking at the dial, we can say that the surface is flat or not. And if it has some waviness like shown over here, the surface to be tested, the sensor will first of all pick up the reading. That is it will pick up the variation over here. Transducer will convert the displacement into electrical energy that is it would be converting the electrical energy and the output of this transducer would be DC supply or DC voltage. So the DC output is given from the transducer to the oscillator. Now oscillator will convert this DC voltage into an AC supply which is sent to the amplifier. So the output of the oscillator is the small AC or we can say it also oscillator also indicates the frequency of the voltage that is it is a small amount of AC which is fed to the amplifier and then the amplifier would be converting the small AC into a large AC and then it is fed to the demodulator. Now demodulator would be converting the AC supply into again the DC supply which is given to the dial because this pointer would be operated on DC voltage. So here what happens is in case of the DC which we are giving to the dial the pointer would be moving and the movement of the pointer will indicate that the surface is rough. If it is perfectly flat then the reading of the pointer is zero. So basically this is a gauge. It means it is not going to give us a particular value of reading. The reading we don't require the reading here. We just have to check if the surface is flat or not and that is indicated by the movement of the pointer and the movement is transferred from this sensor or we can say from the plunger up to the dial by using the electronic means here as we have seen here and then we can say that this electronic comparator is nothing but a gauge. It is not a measuring instrument. It is a gauge which is used to check the flatness of a given surface and since it is using the electronic electronic components here then one of the disadvantage is the cost that is when we compare it with mechanical the cost is more and at the same time the electronic comparators are less rigid or robust when we compare them with mechanical comparators but their advantage is that they are more sensitive than the mechanical comparators and at the same time the reading can be amplified and we can get more amount of range or we can say magnification in case of electronic comparator. So in short that was an explanation regarding the electronic comparator. At the end, if you all find my videos helpful, you all can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends.
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग